See? And I'm Paris. And today we're going to share with you some planner tips, hacks, as well as essentials, like what I keep in my planner pencil case. Planner pencil case. <laughs> so this planner video was very requested and get excited because there is also a giveaway that is open internationally. So in this giveaway, you will be able to design your very own personal planner. How excited! Yeah, and you will see how I actually designed mine. So you can basically get ideas and start thinking about what your planner will look like if you enter this giveaway. So a lot of you might ask, how do we enter? Mm. Okay, so firstly, you have to subscribe to this channel, the channel that you're watching right here. Just oh. click that button. <laughs> and for bonus entries, you can follow us on our social media accounts. So that includes Instagram and Twitter. So all you have to do is click on the link down below and it will take you right to the giveaway and a random winner will be chosen in two weeks time. So if you're a bit confused on the rules, because I know it was a lot, you can just click that open description bar below and everything will be listed there nicely so yeah with that being said good luck to all those who are entering this giveaway and don't forget if you are new to this channel go ahead and click that subscribe button don't be shy don't, don't be. be yeah <laughs> so before we forget don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up try to get it to 1500 likes to see more planning videos and just more stuff in general and giveaways because yeah. who doesn't like giveaways mm -hmm. right <laughs> and yeah with that being said let's get straight into it so the first hack is to have a planner to constantly keep track of the things you have to do. A fun option is to design your own planner and I use the personal planner site to do that. I actually did a whole review on this so you can check it out below but for now I'm gonna briefly show you how I played around and ended up customizing my own planner. You can choose from different patterns that are provided for you or you can go on the theme design and pick really pretty covers or you even have the option to design your own cover by uploading pics from your desktop or Instagram and cropping them to size like I did here. So it all depends on what you want. It's your personal planner so customize it as much as you like. You can also design every single thing inside the planner from the way you set it up horizontally or vertically, the banners on top, the modules below, the colors as well as what you want your pages in the back to look like. You can even choose to insert coloring pages which we think is really cute. So inside of the planner you can customize everything on the front page and I love that option. So when you place the order you get everything that you've designed all in one package. So here's the look of the plan I designed and I have to say it's exactly what I wanted. So the winner of this giveaway will get the chance to design their very own planner so get excited and stop thinking about good ideas if you plan on entering this giveaway. Hack number two is to decorate your planner because this will inspire you to plan and be motivated and organized. You can buy planner supplies or you can just sign up for the planner addict box which is what I personally love to do. It saves me so much time and money and it's only $15 a month and I get a ton of cute planner supplies. If you don't want to spend any money at all, there's also a free option where you can make your own stickers or get free printables online which is something that I also do. So you can check out my Pinterest planner board down below where I pin a lot of free printables so you can go ahead and pin them as well. The third hack is to use journal or inspirational cards in your planner because they help to brighten your day. I don't know about you but when you're having a bad day and you open your planner and see something positive, you immediately feel uplifted. Next is to use sticky notes because it gives you a lot more space to write on and they're really easy to move around to suit your needs, especially if you're unsure of any events or have any last minute changes. This is so much better than constantly having to erase or scratch your planner. Hack number 5 is to use gift paper or gift bags as an inexpensive way to decorate your planner. You can actually reuse gift paper that you have or cut up shopping bags or anything like that and you can resize it to fit your planner and it looks just as good and functions just as well as scrapbook paper. Hack number 6 is to make more space with removable tabs. Take a piece of scrapbook paper and cut it down to a size that fits your planner. Then mark off the binder rings and use a single hole puncher to punch along the markings you just made. Take a scissors and snip the holes you just punched so you can insert it into your planner just like this. Now you can add a stack of sticky notes to that divider so you can jot down any notes you have if you don't want to add them directly to your planner. I actually did an entire video on this so it will be linked down below if you need any more info. The next hack is to make folders to create pockets for storage. Fold a piece of scrapbook paper and cut it down to the size of your planner. Fold back one corner of it just like you see here and cut that piece out. Now stick the open edges of the scrapbook paper together except for the top part so that you get a pocket like this. 
and to insert it into the planner, repeat the steps of marking the binder rings, punching it, snipping it and inserting it into the binder. Now for the fun part, you get to store your stickers or what I like to do is have a few thank you notes and note cards on the go so I keep it in that folder and it's so convenient to store any other loose bits of paper. Another way to add more space is to use an envelope and repeat the same process again so you get a mini pocket for storing smaller pieces of paper like journal cards. Hack number 8 is to create a dashboard to store sticky notes and flags. You can laminate a scrapbook page and insert it into your planner by surprise the same way we did before. Now you have a perfect place to add your sticky notes, sticky tabs and page flags. It's so cute and you can customize it in so many ways using different scrapbook paper, so have fun with it! It's both functional and efficient because you can carry your sticky notes and flags wherever you go. Hack number 9 is to create a planner pencil case that is filled with all your stationery and planner essentials so whenever you go out you have exactly what you need. So I like to have some washi tape books and a mini sticker book that I got from Bando. Then I have this tag that I like to attach my binder clips and paper clips on. A huge essential is tape adhesive which is so much more useful and less messy than glue. Of course you gotta have some sticky notes as well as a credit cardy kind of material that you can cut paper with as you see in most of my plan with me videos. Next I have one roll of neutral washi tape as well as some highlighters to color code my planner and pens to write with of course. And speaking of pens, my holy grail pen is this Pilot X Friction pen that is erasable so it's great if you're like me and don't want to see any scratches or untidiness in your planner. The last thing I like to keep is a hole puncher for anything I want to quickly insert into my planner. Also for my planner pen case, it's just one that I got from Forever 21 that had a ton of space to fit all of my planner essentials. Hack number 10 is to carry a notepad to jot things down on the go. So if you don't want to carry your planner, you can just use an app called Google Keep to write lists on your phone which you can then transfer to your planner or you can carry a little notepad wherever you go. Don't fool yourself and think that you'll remember it. Just write it down as you go along the day. So that's a wrap for this video. Good luck to all of you entering this giveaway and remember the rules are in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you won't miss a thing. We'll see you in our next video. Bye!